Hey, Spring House. My name is Dana Jansen. My husband is the youth pastor, and I am uh, the one that supports him. So uh, <laughs> today we are going to be reading on staying awake. Um, it is from Acts 27 through 12. It says, on the first day of the week, we came together to break bread. Paul spoke to the people, and because he intended to leave the next day, he kept on talking until midnight. There were many lamps in the upstairs room where we were meeting, and seated in the window was a young man named Eutychus, and he was, who was sinking into a deep sleep as Paul talked on and on. And when he was sound asleep, he fell to the ground from the third story and was picked up dead. Paul went down and threw himself on the young man and put his arms around him. And he said, don't be alarmed, he said. He is alive. And then he went upstairs again and broke bread and ate. And after talking until daylight, he left. The people took the young man home alive and were greatly comforted. The thought that comes to my mind is a um, wonderful memory from several weeks ago when my boys wanted to have a sleepover and they had several children with them that night and they all decided to stay up the whole night. And obviously they weren't listening to someone speaking God's word, but they stayed up all night long. And the next day in the middle of one of the most powerful messages that um, I had heard Kevin speak in a while, it just really spoke to me. I look behind me and the whole row of teenage boys was passed out of sleep. And I'm like, wake up, wake up, wake up. And I think, honestly, we just all need to be more aware. God is bringing messages to us all the time. And when we are not prepared, we are not ready to hear his word. And when we just start dozing off, it really makes it where we miss out on so much that he has to say to us. I mean, God did a miracle and brought that young man back to life, which is incredible. But sometimes we just need to uh, be prepared, get some sleep, rest your eyes and your heart. And so you, whenever you are in that moment, you are willing and able to pay attention. It's an incredible blessing. I promise you, get some sleep. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for this congregation. I thank you for all the people that you have blessed us with that come in and speak your word. God, help us to prepare ourselves so we can stay awake and be present in the moment, Lord. Thank you for all you do and all that you're teaching us every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day.